This is a story about a flock of penguins who live on an iceberg in Antarctica, the South Pole. They are like a big family. They have been living as a colony on this iceberg for years, as far back as they can remember. It is their home. They don't know it yet, but change is coming for them. In order to survive, they will need to learn the change leadership process, one step at a time. When they aren't hunting for creatures in the sea, they spend most of their time with friends and relatives. Except this one, Fred. Fred is unusually curious and observant. He watches the sea and stuffs his observations, ideas, and conclusions in a briefcase. One day, Fred learns something alarming. Oh boy, I have to do something. I gotta tell Alice. This is Alice. She is one of the Penguin's Leadership Council members. She is tough and has a reputation of getting things done. Alice, can I speak with you for a moment? I believe that our iceberg is melting. Really? Well, show me what you mean. So Fred took Alice to the heart of the iceberg. See, Alice? Our iceberg has cracks that lead to larger caves. If the ice melts sufficiently, water will pour into these cracks and caves. If we have a cold winter, the water in these cracks can freeze quickly, trapping water inside the caves. Then, as the temperature goes lower, the water in the caves will freeze too. This freezing liquid will expand in volume, causing our iceberg to break into pieces. This could destroy our home and place us all in great danger. Hmm, this is not good. We must bring this information to the leadership council. I'll prepare a presentation to convince them that something must be done. The leadership council consists of Lewis, the head of the council, Alice, Buddy, the handsome, charismatic one, and Nono, a cranky penguin who is responsible for weather forecasts. Causing our iceberg to break into pieces. This is wild speculation and fear-mongering. Our iceberg can withstand such fluctuations. Can he guarantee his data and conclusions are 100% correct? I can't. But if our iceberg breaks into pieces in winter, wouldn't many of us die? Imagine parents who lost their children coming to us and asking, why didn't you foresee this crisis? It was your job to protect the colony. What would you tell them? If Fred is correct, we only have two months until winter to react to this threat. We must inform everyone. This calls for a general assembly of the colony. No! It would be very bad to worry them. We don't want to panic anyone. We must keep this a secret. I have an idea. Would you give me a few minutes, please? Fred went quickly down the mountain and arrived minutes later with a glass bottle. Let's fill this bottle with water, seal it, and leave it in the ice overnight. Then tomorrow we can see if it's broken by the force of expanding water as it freezes. If I am correct, the bottle will be broken. Let's do it. We'll meet here tomorrow morning. The next morning they found the bottle broken. Oh. I'm convinced. We have to do something about this. Let us call a general assembly of the colony. And with that, the Penguins started the change leadership process with step one, establishing a sense of urgency. Clearly, our iceberg is in danger, but I am confident we will find a solution. We need to act quickly. <laughs> The next step was step two, creating the guiding coalition. A diverse team of five penguins was given the task of finding a solution. Lewis, Alice, Fred, Buddy, and Professor, who was the smartest penguin in the colony. Each had different strengths, and together they were the best team for the job. Their task was step three of the change leadership process, developing a change vision. I've got an idea. Let's move to the center of Antarctica, where ice is thicker and stronger. We will be too far from the water. How will we get fish? What about using super glue to hold the iceberg together? <laughs> That's very funny. Look, up there, the seagull. It can't fly forever. It must have a home somewhere. It could be very lost, but it doesn't seem to be afraid. What if moving from one place to another is just the way it lives? Like a nomad. I can almost see how we might live. 
We'd learn to move around. We wouldn't try to fix melting icebergs. We would just face up to the fact that what sustains us can't go on forever. Our founder had this same idea when he moved our colony to this iceberg years ago. This sounds like our best shot. Let's inform the others. Their next step was number four, communicating the vision for buy-in. Lewis called a general assembly again to tell all of the new strategy. Since Buddy was the best storyteller, he was chosen to tell the story of the seagull. Then Lewis addressed the crowd. We are not chained to this piece of ice. Let it melt and break. We will find other places to live that are safer. Although many penguins were relieved to hear this, many were still skeptical. So Alice came up with the idea of putting slogans on ice posters to win over the support of the colony. They worked hard to communicate the new vision of a nomadic life. Then they moved the plan forward with step five, empowering broad-based action. A scout team should go and look for another iceberg. Assemble a team and get ready. Yes, sir. Of course, it didn't go smoothly at first. Arguments broke out among the scouts, but Lewis dealt with them in a straight and direct way, keeping the focus on the main task. Then Nono started forecasting storms to discourage the scouts and lower morale. Lewis told Nono that his forecasting services are not needed at this time. Many of the penguins, particularly the young ones, were scared about the upcoming move. Buddy asked the teachers of the colony to speak about bravery to these young penguins. He inspired them to come up with Tribute to Our Heroes Day for when the scouts return. Next, they needed to act and make some progress. This is step six, generating short-term wins. The strong, bright, and highly enthusiastic scouts jumped into the water and searched for a new iceberg that would be good enough for them to move to. My life was boring. Scouting is fun! I will do this for the colony! My family will be so proud of me! When the brave scouts finally returned, they were tired and hungry, but they were greeted with a hero's welcome. They were given medals and food. They told amazing tales about the sea, about swimming long distances, and about new icebergs they had seen. As happy as everyone was to have the successful trip completed, it was no time to rest. They pressed onward with step number seven, never letting up. The next day, a second group of scouts went out and found the best iceberg for their new home. This iceberg has everything we need, a tall snow wall and good fishing sites. During the migration, our young and old can rest along the way on small icebergs. Let's waste no time. Start the migration before winter hits. The colony moved to the new home. The move was chaotic at times, but with Lewis's leadership and Buddy's encouragement, they arrived safely on the new iceberg. However, they still needed to take one last step. Number eight, incorporating changes into the culture. Although the new iceberg was solid and safe, they decided to move again the year after to an even better iceberg. They learned that to survive, constant change must become part of their culture. We can all learn something from the fable of these penguins. Is your organization safe? Are you sure that your iceberg is not melting? Here is a review of the change leadership process that the penguins used. Step one, establishing a sense of urgency. Step two, creating the guiding coalition. Step three, developing a change vision. Step four, communicating the vision for buy-in. Step five, empowering broad-based action. Step six, generating short-term wins. Step seven, never letting up. And step eight, incorporating changes into the culture. Think about these steps and how they work for our clever penguins. They can help you embrace change and keep you ahead of your melting iceberg.